Hello, um, hi everyone. And today I'm going to speak about a different subject, uh, you know, regarding diabetes or related to diabetes. And this has been told to you, my one of my friend. You speak about this, and I thought it is always nice to speak because uh, uh, this might help so many people uh, with this problem, and that is the diabetes and sexual weakness. And uh, I thought I'll speak about this because of uh, two reasons. You know, one is this: many of the people will neglect uh, the sexual weakness in diabetes, or even without diabetes. And one more thing is, people are reluctant to speak about this problem with their doctors. You know, and these two things uh, will always spoil. You know, by the time you start treating, it will be too late. You know, so initially, if you understand or uh, the problem or recognize the problem. And then starting it, it will be, uh, you know, uh, easy to treat or easily can be overcome. So the sexual problems can uh, affect both males and females. But the major problem is with males, you know, because the males should have an erection and that erection is uh, made by the increase of blood circulation to the area of the penis. So that is uh, the main reason. So most daily the, the males are affected because of the diabetes. So I'll be speaking about that in a better, in a uh, detailed way. And uh, this erectile dysfunction, we call it the weakness of the sexual weakness in male is called erectile dysfunction. And the studies have shown that almost uh, 30 to 70% of men have sexual weakness after about 10 years of diabetes and this would be and this people they don't don't reveal it that's the main problem it is not identified and the 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 amount of uh, weakness or the, the people with the weakness are slowly increasing because of lack of control of blood sugar and if somebody asks you what is uh, uh, erectile dysfunction or sexual weakness in men uh, it can happen to anybody you know normal people also at times can have sexual weakness but if you have continuously third time third time second or third time if you cannot have successful sexual uh, activity uh, th with a good erection that means you have problem you need to have consultation with your doctor so that is it so if you have second or third time continuously in a row, if you cannot have a good sexual intercourse with a good erection, then you have to consult your doctor. The major causes, you know, uh, you know, it is not actually diabetes. The main causes of sexual weakness or erectile dysfunction in male are psychogenic causes. That is, your mind is the one which is playing it. And many reasons are anxiety or depression, or psychological problems, relationship between husband and wife, that is also a problem. And usually your stress with your profession also is a problem. So all this can affect mainly almost 90%. Oh, okay, I can say about 90% of sexual weakness is because of your mind problems or psychological problems. And in diabetes, in diabetes, as a part of your weakness, you know, diabetes can cause general weakness and it can cause uh, erectile dysfunction as a part of your general weakness and uh, you know that I've told you in the video what is going to happen when you have high blood sugar naturally there will be reduction in the blood flow in every part of the body naturally there will be reduced blood supply to your penis and that is going to affect okay and uh, third thing is the neuropathy which I've already told you the nerves will be affected and the nerves which are concerned with increasing blood supply to the penis will also be affected so neuropathy can also add to it and the associated hypertension or hypercholesterolemia your uh, BP and your cholesterol levels also can affect and many a times unrecognized is the associated drugs which you take along with the uh, diabetes especially the treatment for hypertension and drugs many other drugs can affect especially the drugs which are used for BP and drugs which are used for your stress 
especially psychiatric drugs also can cause erectile dysfunction so if you find such things you have to discuss it with your doctor and other major things are cigarette smoking is there and uh, your alcoholism if you don't limit your alcoholism you can have sexual weakness drug abuse or any drugs which you use for addictions okay and such things can cause trauma to any part of your body especially spine can cause and there can be other things especially endocrine things endocrine things you have thyroid problems you have reduced the testosterone the male hormones if it is less in your body it can have sexual weakness and there can be pituitary problems which cause hyperprolactinemia is one condition so all this will be direct it will be it will diagnosed by uh, your doctor uh, by checking the blood you know it is easily identifiable with checking the blood and many drugs i have already told you and this drug thing also you should uh, speak with your doctor and once you have sexual weakness you go to the doctor the doctor will, will always check you know always check and by you what you are supposed to do is you have to check and control check your uh, blood sugar your hba1c hba1c is 3 months average value of blood sugar and also thyroid function test your pituitary function test should be done that will be done by your doctor and doctor can also do a penile ultrasound to see how much the, what is the blood flow to through your penis that is also possible and now what to do what you are supposed to once you identify what you are supposed to do is i already told you you check your blood and second thing is you have to control your blood sugar the major thing about the uh, treatment of sexual weakness in men is you have to have glycemic control you have to, to make sure your blood sugar is under control if you have hypertension if you have hypercholesterolemia if you have high fat in the blood then you have to treat it then if you are smoking you have to stop it if you are taking too much of alcohol you have to limit it and always think one more thing in sexual weakness that suppose you have sexual weakness that means your blood supply blood circulation is always slow and there is reduced blood circulation to every part of your body and even to your heart okay and if you have such things you have to reveal it to your doctor and make sure you don't have cardiac problems your heart is fine so once you have sexual weakness you make sure you have a cardiac check and if you have any problems you have to take treatment for preventing heart problems that is also important and you have any any any, any psycho uh, psychological problems especially anxiety depression or relationship problems you have to always consult a psychologist and make sure you are fine and always make sure you exercise exercise once you do exercise what is going to happen is the heart is going to beat faster okay and once the heart is going to beat faster the blood speed flow of blood increases and naturally the flow of blood into the penis also will increase all your blood circulation problems increase your heart will become more powerful and exercise has got lot of advantages and uh, normal routine exercise along with that you can do kegel exercise kegel exercise um if you don't know you can check in the net and uh, doing kegel exercise also can increase uh, the sexual uh, power for you and uh, so many foods are been advised so many foods if you see the net you will find so many things but usual things are you have to have uh, plenty of vegetables plenty of uh, you know uh, nuts are very good for you and uh, you have to have proteins high amount of proteins especially in the form of fish or um, you know meat which are not having a less amount of fat especially chicken and you can have sprouted pulses you know proud green grams are very good for uh, uh, increasing your st- uh, ability and make sure see such are the smaller things you know uh, eggs you can have eggs you can have high amount of protein is there but make sure you eat less of fat always make sure you eat less of fat more of proteins more of vegetables and nuts that is again, good for you and uh, drug treatment will be always advised by you by your doctor because the drugs which are used for sexual weakness have side effects and you should your doctor should decide whether you can have it or not so some added 
benefits are there from vitamins and other things but the other major drugs which are used for sexual weakness should be advised by your doctor and you, if you have uh, hormone problems especially thyroid and testosterone problems we have to treat that also and uh, uh, other mechanical supports are available nowadays we have vacuum assisted erectile devices are there that is again uh, very useful and that also you can consult your doctor and have and that is uh, very easily available very easily used and very simple to use and there is no much of side effects for it so vacuum uh, pumps for uh, uh, erection are very good and uh, there are injections available you know injections available which can be injected by uh, once you are trained to inject a uh, drug into your penis and immediately you have erection and you can have sexual intercourse and if nothing is working if no treatment is working you can go in for a transplant also that is called penile prosthetic devices are available that can also be used for uh, sexual weakness so in short uh, in male weakness i will always suggest you okay please talk to your doctor please talk to your doctor and make sure you control your uh, sugar control your pp control your cholesterol and do exercise okay and if you go to females females they also have problems because of diabetes especially because of the um, uh, neuropathy problems they have they can have reduced the sensitivity of the clitoris which can have which can reduce their sexual uh, satisfaction and they can have sex reduce the sexual drive because of the general weakness and associated problems and also they can have uh, uh, you know, usual vaginal infections in diabetes, especially candidiasis, and this candidiasis can cause dryness of vagina, and it can lead to pain also. So that is also a problem. So, uh, if you see men and uh, women, the main affectors or people affected are the males. So, uh, please, uh, uh, free speak, uh, free to uh, speak with your doctor about these problems, and. Uh, 90% of the time, yeah, I think most probably you can uh, get rid of this such, uh, get rid of your uh, sexual weakness with uh, proper treatment and control of blood sugar and all the rest.